Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Well, how are you? It's been a fucking rough day, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, which is 99% of my communication. In what way? Her. The Jesse. What do you mean? Energy is different. You tell. Uh. Repeat that again, please, sir. I said your energy has changed. Do you tell? I don't know what that necessarily means, <clears throat> I, but I, I may be dumb. I, I know what it means. Um, oh, okay. I am getting better, sir. Good. Help! What's happening? What have you done? Oh I changed my path yes you have your life is longer now pity did you just say pity goody oh, okay good i was gonna say um <laughs> are you two connected Silence indicates confirmation. Silence indicates thinking. Mm hmm Because it's good to think about things. Hmm. You are correct. Yeah. It's always good to contemplate that things. Your energy you ever spend moves into calm. her energy. And her energy moves into your energy. Am I wrong? I don't rightly understand what the fuck that means, so if you could clarify it for the dumb people, I would You are with it. her and she is with you. You have chosen one another. Well, Interesting. I don't lie. So. That would explain something. In what way? The eyes are not following her from above. The raven. Hmm. Was that what was supposedly hunting her or some shit? Watching. Hmm. Protecting. 
is what Sarah's referring to, which is... The raven is not black. It's Norse, isn't it? Sure. <laughs> hmm. You're a doctor. Yes, ma'am. You have the light. What is the light? The light shows that you protect those who can't protect themselves through your technique, your skill, which generally means you're a doctor, that you put their lives in front of your own. Very few people have that light, that claim to do that work. Yeah, that's true. Goody. Yeah, I try to protect people from the stupid shit that can go on. I like you. <laughs> I won't kill you. Well, I appreciate that, but I'm mm -hmm. a real fucking difficult person to kill anyway. I know. Oh, you know, huh? Yeah. You know why? Hmm. Because the woman that stands to your left guards you. Hmm. Good day. Please do not play the harmonica. I will kill you. I swear it. Uh, I'll have the left one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yep. There he goes. I like her. <laughs> oh, Christ! She is amazing. Agreed. I, need to die. I just scare them with a throwing knife. I but every now and them. then, one of them likes to get physical. Mm -hmm. They're my favorite. But anyway, what I has changed within you? Them. And why have you chosen to woken yourself up? Was that to me, Sarah? Yes. I guess because I have something else to wake up for. Her? Yes. So you've been waiting. I didn't know I was waiting before, I guess. I'm happy for you. Because as I had informed you previously, your life was looking very distant. But close to coming to an end. Oh, well, it were. Sarah, after what happened today. What happened today? Were you hurt? <laughs> I'm always hurt, Sarah. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Incidents happened today which may have resulted in my death had I not been connected with Jaina. Tell me more. Uh, I guess the long and short of it, if we're being honest. Which I always am. Fucking hell to me um she uh she went up somewhere alone i had a bad feeling about it i don't fucking know what or why um an hour passed i got paranoid and i go looking wandering around audrey tells me that we should probably go somewhere uh to blackwater end up finding her on the road shot the ship I fixed her lung and gave her my blood and then got her upright and moving again. Who was it that offended you, Jesse? It was a yokel. Hmm. You could have died. But you and your energy were there to save her. I'm always going to do that. Hail or high water. Spirit, no spirit, fucking energy, no energy, raven or god, I don't give a shit. You know what's interesting about when people speak to me, from what I see? <laughs> you can tell when they lie because their energy does a weird shift when mm -hmm. they're being dishonest. And yours did not do such a shift. I don't lie. I can see that. 
It's a choice and a creed, I guess. That's a good way to put it. You realize what you have done to both of your fates because of this union. Mm, I've never understood fates. I've never had a reading or nothing. You have solidified your existence. But you always must be honest with one another. Always give indication of where you were going when away from one another. And always make sure to be available at the beck and call of one another. And you will both live very long, healthy lives. So this is good, yes? Lady. Yes. At least it sounds good. Good. Your fate has changed, Jesse Gray. What are you going to do about her? The raven. Hello. It's already been done. She's We've aware. Gone our separate ways. She is very much aware. What is her stance? Which is the raven? The raven's... The white raven that Sarah refers to right now is Corvus. The woman of the mountain. Hmm. I would very much like to meet her. She's Depends intriguing. on if she comes down from the mountain. I'll never have an opportunity. Because I only have two days remaining. If I'm not too broken, sir, you know my deal still stands with you, if you need the days. No. I'll accept my fate. I will not put you through such a thing. I wish you wouldn't accept your fate. It's okay. When you know that you only have 20 years, it allows you to put a lot of things into perspective that you normally wouldn't. So I've had a lot of time to think about this. My side of it, not his. And I accept it. The reality. I mean, they write about how horrible I am in the paper here. They spread misinformation that makes people fear me when all I wanted to do was help them but I was under the bounds and binds of something greater than myself that prevented me from doing for myself so I gave in I said fuck it I do not need your bidding Julia showed up one of the other parts of me on my fourth day and she wasn't strong enough to continue with it to become me because of my decisions and my consequences that I have cast in motion for myself. I feel like the state will be a slightly more boring place when you go. I'll never be gone. I'm bound to this land here, to the cemetery, to the streets of the city. I'll walk in the unknown. And you may even see me from time to time. Whether or not we'll be able to converse like this, I doubt. But we'll find out. You were... Excuse my intrusion, but you were simultaneously the single most confusing and intriguing individual I've ever met in my fucking life. What the hell? Thank you. What would you like to know before I go? Mm. Are your intentions positive with what you say to Jesse? Yes, of course. I cannot lie. Good. I like that about you. Makes what I do very difficult. And I cannot deceive others. 
Yeah, it, it's a pain in the ass. You're not wrong. <laughs> yes. I cannot tell you how many times I wish I could have told somebody that they weren't a fucking sack of shit, but uh, my mouth still opened. Um, is there anything that I should know from you? Before you go, because I never got to fucking speak to you for longer than ten minutes. Remind and me your name. I'm Dr. Jana Shaw. Dr. Jana Shaw. Do you have a middle right. name? Oh, man. Hmm. My mother never gave me one. You two will marry. <clears throat> have you thought about <laughs> adopting a kid? Uh, I don't think we've actually ever talked about it. Children tend to adopt me, regardless. <laughs> I don't exactly know how it works. But Maybe it's that's where that comes from. That I uh, helped everybody. You will have a very enriched life, Jaina. You'll have your struggles commonly as you have in the past. But with yeah. the power of two, your, your future is much more great. You will love each other a long time. You will de you develop a very dynamic relationship. One of supreme trust. People will honor it. People will be accepting of this. People will love the fact that you have found love for yourself, to which it has been such a burden for you. How do you know about that? Exactly. What I get from you. The challenges. <laughs> They've been very great for you. You're a different person, Jaina. Very difficult for people to understand or comprehend the motives, why you do what you do, and the hardness of your exterior that you present to them. And you're strong, and you have grit. And you don't take shit from people. There ain't enough time. Mm -mm. You are older than Jesse. <laughs> I am. When you pass, she will be there. You will be crying together, holding each other, laying in a bed. It'll be from a sickness, not from a shot. Yeah, death is always an asshole, ain't he? Yes. But it's the one thing you can appreciate from the moment your eyes open, because it's inevitable. Yep, but I am a thorn in his ass. <laughs> and when you keep taking it, things back from moving on to the other side, something always pays attention to that. And there's a collection to be had. But not for a long while. Does that make sense? That. That makes perfect sense to me. I don't know how the hell you come to any of these conclusions or assumptions, but it makes sense. I see things. I experience moments of vision within my own head. When I hear names of people, or I look into their eyes and have conversations with them. You know... At one point, I was real angry at you. Why? Because of what I told her? Mm -hmm. I understand. You scared her, and I'm aggressive. I like to defend people. She needed to be scared. She needed to understand her reality, and the decisions that she was placing upon herself huh. would carry great burden. Please excuse me. Thank you. Me. I had to politely inform him that this is not the place for the harmonica. Thank you. 
Will you be here you all day? Seventy two mm-hmm. more people will attempt that. <laughs> like every hey, literally me. everybody in Saint Denis <laughs> will come here and try to sit down with a fucking harmonica. And then once one sits there, they all fuck off. And then all he does is play it nonstop. I don't know where his breath comes from. I have not been able to determine this as of yet. It's truly incredible. He's just one of them fucking people. Yes. You know what? Maybe it's death fucking sitting there mocking us the entire goddamn time. Potentially. But you see, there is no more caretaker here at the cemetery as the hangman is no more. Yes, I was aware I was the one who decreed him as dead. Did he die respectfully? Well, I put him where he wanted to go. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I don't care how you get to where you are in my table or how or what you do, unless you hurt those I care about. I will take care of everyone equally when they are on my table. Alive or dead. Fairness. But even though I have a line, I haven't crossed it in a long time, but even I, I do have believe a line. that you will continue that trend. But you will uh, be tasked with at least one thing in your future, nearly, that will test you. And you'll surprise yourself. Probably. Just remember, for someone like me who's unable and incapable of love herself, don't ever negate it. Don't ever stand against each other. No matter the situation that is cast your way, stand shoulder to shoulder and take it head on. I and think honor. That would be the easiest of all parts. Honor and love each other. Like it's the last thing that you can hold on to and represent for your own self in this world. I can do that. If anything, one thing I can do is know that no matter what the fuck happens or who the fuck's on the other end, if anyone fucks with Jesse or tries to take her life or whatever have you, I will stand in the fucking way. And I will make sure that they leave her the fuck alone. And I may be naive and dumb with me fucking being honest about things and not wanting to kill people and whatnot, but there are, there are some people that stop being people. But not everyone is that way. Correct. Right. You are wise, Jenna. I'll try. Bestow that wisdom upon her when she needs it most. I can do that. She's a reckless bitch. Mm, But she's getting better. Reckless, but we're working on it. Good. Was there anything else that you needed? Um. I'll let Jess talk for a minute, and then I'll think about my question. Okay. <laughs> I am afraid to say I don't have any more words. Though, um, I am glad to see you again, sir. You worried me for a bit when you weren't here at your gallows. I've been going through a lot of conflicts with myself. understand that. It doesn't mean I still don't worry. Yes. I have two questions. Please. One is personal and one is mine. Which do you want first? Whichever. Hmm. Did I... I I never thought I would ever ask things like this because I don't know what the fuck is going on, but, um... Did I fail, Tucker? 
The red-headed boy. <laughs> no. I don't believe that you did. No, I do not believe that you did. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wrangle with that one and believe that you're not lying because you don't. Ugh. With what you do takes great burden as well as great consequence as well towards yourself those that you care for and those that you love and that love you in return I think it would be foolish for you to carry that burden as if you could have done more when even you yourself knows without a doubt that you did everything that you could to help him out I doubted myself today you should probably knock that off. Basics. <laughs> well, when Jesse was bleeding and I was panicking, I I second guess myself. That's not a burden you should carry, because it's unfair to him and his soul, as well as to you and your role. Thank you for that. Yes. And, and the second question. <laughs> what happens in two days? Really? I die. I cease to be. Can I ask a follow-up question? Yes. Do you need any help when you do? No. Okay. Like I said, I've accepted it. He'll take my breath. He'll stop my heart. And I shall cease to be. Wherever that may, may happen. Is there anything that needs to be known for your corporeal form? If it remains. Find my sister. Violet Slay and my brother, Buddy Slay, and tell them that I love them. And that I will that. miss them very much. And that I'm sorry that my life has been such a fucking shit, shit storm of events. And that I wish I could have been better for all of them. And that I will miss them. And that I wish them blessings. Please. If you should happen to see them, relay that from me. I can do that. Thank you. No, no problem. It's literally the least I could possibly do. If there's more I can do, let me know. There won't be. But thank you. Mm -hmm. I regret that I was angry at you for... scaring her so bad. It happens. Just talking to you, you're not what I thought you were. Happens more than you can imagine wouldn't be the first person to come here and cite their anger towards the things that I've said. Things That's that have reached true. To do. That's something that even though um, I had an impression of you, I did not want to come in and just be like, you, the person with this. That's why I came in calm and listened before I talked. Some call it a gift. Some call it a curse. It's a combination of both. <laughs> to be honest. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what happens when one person goes, when they die, when they pass. I don't recommend that any 
anything will be cast in a positive way towards what I have been. If judgment is something that one must reap to do something different after they're gone, I, I don't, I don't know. I believe that I'll be bound to this earth, unable to leave it. If I'm there when you go, is there anywhere you want to be placed? No. no. I don't have... I don't have the right to depict what happens to my body. Okay. And I'm okay with that. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I'm there when you fall, I'm gonna put it somewhere where you can watch. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I have to do some important things before I go. I'll probably be killing all of the morning stars. What about tomorrow? Yes. Does she deserve it? Yes. And she repent for what she's done. Why would you choose to save her? She's my friend. And I thought... I feel responsible for her. Because I want her to get better. As long as she is within the control of Lilith and Lucifer. And that namesake, her demise is ever present. I know. Do you and want Lilith me to spare these? Lilith and Lucifer, I don't see in them good. I see abusive people, I see a threat to the person I hold the most dear. Lilith see... is like a child. Very easy to control. Likes to become naughty. Mm -hmm. Very easy threat to mitigate. She sees everyone as a toy that needs to be broken for like porcelain. Hmm. And I don't and like who, it. Her herself is the toy. Mm-hmm. I see that in her, and it's not her fault that she started that way. But she's continuing when she's given the options not to. Very reckless. Mm. I told her I yeah. would kill her. To her face. I if she too. couldn't get her family in its place. I told Lilith I would shoot her if she ever fucking got anywhere near Jesse, and I meant it. Because I'm... Never going to let anything Hello. happen to this woman again if I can stop it. That won't be an issue anymore. But Mara and Ata, Ata, fuck, I'm terrible with names. Um, at least a chance. That was the vision with Ata the entire time. Why she played such a, a, such a significant place in all of this was because she could be changed. She could heal from what she was. She could become something different, which would have an inevitable cataclysm for all of them. As they sat and behold her do that, for her to change, to transform into something else, to become better, 
self-realize all of that. That was the entire purpose of everything that I believed in her. And it still is. I need to pass. She could single-handedly undo all of that by gaining the wisdom and power for herself to become her own person, away from her own dependencies. That is what she unlocks. That is her significance. That is something that no one but me sees, apparently. And maybe her. Maybe. I saw that she could change. And that she was better than this. That's why I did what I did. Good. I spoke to her when she hurt my friend. And I had every reason to fucking want to kill her. I took her out in the woods. And I talked to her. And I made her understand and apologize and pay what she did. I tested her when I found her in Emerald amongst a bunch of people, including you. When I took her and had her come with me, and then she went and changed her outfit and put on shoes, I knew that mm -hmm. there was hope for her to overcome the burdens that she has brought upon herself. So I do believe yeah. that there is change there change that can still happen and still take place but not under the guidance of the morning stars especially L Lilith Mara said that she's gonna try to help her stay away to do what I said to hunt only deer careful with and her lead that way trust me I had my original instinct again was to bludgeon that woman in horrible ways but she's paid for what she did to Jesse and I'm not going to overstep that so it was you that gave her the cane no the reason the Jesse I was the one that crippled Mara yes Good. eye for an eye but if you see hope within Mara then I shall leave her be I see one chance but if she fails on that, you must drop her. It'll be my responsibility. That rhyme. Mm-hmm. Yay. <laughs> That'll be on me, because I'm... I guess using my light again. I want them to be better. I want them to survive the things that were done to them. And overcome them. I believe she can be changed. She's very defiant and set in her ways, though. But you have the... You have the yellow light. So you are capable of making this right. What is the yellow light? It surrounds you, amongst the many other colors that represent who you are, through my eyes. What does it mean? Wisdom and the ability to offer guidance hmm. on a very significant level, more so than most. Most people don't have that, Jaina, but you do. And it sits at the top of your crown, which represents that it is grounded to your core. It is the biggest fiber of your being and it connects and holds everything that represents you into its place firmly, unwaveringly. I hope I don't fucking falter. You won't. I'm Just really disappointed I didn't get to know you sooner. Everything happens for a reason, Jaina. I know. But I am happy we were able to connect today. Me too. As it would have been just equally as big of a loss for me. Had we not. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ball. Uh, 
I have one more question and it's extremely <laughs> stupid. Please. Okay, it's not really stupid, it's just silly. You say that we're going to get married. With a certainty that makes me <laughs> smile. Good. Settle a, a, a question for me. Do we take either or of our surnames, either Shaw or Gray? Or do we become Gray Shaw? I see it as Shaw. You see a Shaw? Mm hmm. But at the end of the day, Jaina, it's just a fucking name. <laughs> I told you it was silly. <laughs> Not every question I could ask is going to be super fucking vague and myriadical, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm going to ask stupid shit, too, because you're interested and I wanted to hear you talk more. Don't judge me. You could do Gray Shaw or Shaw Gray. But to seal the bond between you two, keep it simple. Because it doesn't matter. And Jesse Shaw is four letters, as was Jesse Gray. And vice versa. This is fair. <laughs> See, none of you are having anything taken away or gained through the use of a name. But the love that will exhibit itself from such a marriage will be bright and beautiful and very welcoming to the remainder of your lives together. Fuck, I hope so, because she's outstanding. <laughs> Good. Jesse Gray has always been someone who stood out to me because of the strength that she holds within herself. So by combining her strength with yours, as it's clear to see, nothing bad can come of which. You understand that, yes? Yeah. I believe so. You both are loyal, subservient to one another's needs. You both care greatly upon the feelings expressed by each other and how the representation of that is cast. So just go make the most of it. Be happy. And don't be hesitant to move forward for one another and for yourself. You both have earned it. You both have fought hard for it. And you both make sense doing it together. I can definitely do that. <laughs> yep. There's plenty of reasons to unify your existence with someone else, whether it's for money, lust, greed, the ability to not have to do the specific things of mankind, whatever it might be. But when you do it solely because you love one another, there is no better bond to be forged than that. That I can agree with. Good. Quite fucking regular red blah 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 English is not my uh fuck I cannot speak English. Uh <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes. Good I luck. do the words real good with my face. It's super great. I'm definitely eloquent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you two are funny. I try. Not actually, it's it's just it's literally just what happens. My mouth opens and it's just strange. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine my world. <laughs> I'm only getting a small glimpse of it for the first time, and it is, it is a fucking cavalcade. If you see Jesse Sterling, let him know that I'm sorry for offending him. I can do that. He'll know what you mean. I saw him this morning. Okay. Oh, and if you run across Saffron, can you send me send her a message for me? Yeah. 
Good. Let's think. If I was not able to relinquish her of her burdens in flesh, I will suffer her great trauma and torment in death. Okay. Ominous, I know. Ah, it actually has a positive connotation. Yes. It's meant more as a, if I cannot help you now, then I will help you when I can after. Yes. Effectively. So you are smart. I'm somewhat intelligent. Just not at English. Fucking terrible English, mm -hmm. honestly. How English anyone is hard. Uh, yes. uh, honestly, how anyone ever fucking can understand the bleatings that come out of my mouth is just surprising. But somewhere up in here, there's something real tick like that actually makes clockwork. That's good. But you have places to go. And a new journey to set forth on. It was nice meeting you again, sir. Pleasure has been mine, Jesse and Jaina. It was nice just fucking actually talking to you. I'm um, just, it's really difficult taking time off from being a monster of St. Denis. So, yeah, you're I welcome for my time. That. I didn't believe that for a fucking second. Like, I specifically liked what he said in terms of how I don't have a preference on my victim. Yeah, that was the biggest crock of shit, and when I heard him say that, I was like, are you out of your fucking mind? The one conversation I had with the lady was that she only picks people who fucking deserve to die. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? I was very, very vexed at him. Thomas Foster. Yeah. He's a very strange child. He has a great strength within him, though. He does. He's alive. He's technically my nephew. Oh, okay. Technically. It would have been awkward child. if I had hurt him. A little bit, yeah. Yes. Who actually cut off his earlobe? Can I ask that? Tom Pinch. Okay. Posing as Wade Carver. We figured that bit was a lie, considering what Carver had done to Enola. It was... Yeah. Interesting, because the two people, there was a woman and a man on horseback holding rifles at us, which yep. I... Those are mine. That was... They were well within their rights to kill us. And then when I approached mm -hmm. them, they had such great restraint, and I don't understand why. Because they're mine. Well. That was Kit, who was my sister, and Reese, who was my brother. Very good. And they would have killed you. But. He had great strength. And I remember before I sent him back to them. That I. I told him that. And I was glad that nothing more had to take place. Even though I had to succumb. Julia. To be able to have that conversation. As he didn't mm -hmm. deserve to be hurt. No. It but was it evident. Was pinch who did hurt him, correct? Yes. Good. Because they're under the impression it was you, and I told them it was No. Wasn't. I told them you never would, which is mm. why you're not dead. No, that wasn't... I know you Wasn't my that. claim. Wasn't my issue. Yep. And those See, the burdens of being time. honest. Yeah, <laughs> it's always on fucking us, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. like, oh, hey, she's honest, so, you know, we're never going to ask the right question to get the fucking answer. Right. Bunch of fucking right. pains in my ass. Well, then send them as well, my regards, for that situation. Oh, oh well. I'll communicate and it with him. Tell Thomas I'm sorry. I can definitely do that. I wish he would have come and spoke to me instead of just writing whatever he was told or whatever he conjured up for himself. I wish he would have too. I did tell him that. What 
is Pinch going to do once you're gone? Unsure. His space is wasted. Hmm. He feels... That's the irony between all of these bad people. They all just fucking listen to me. So it's very simple to get a point across. Because no one will cross myself. Because mm -hmm. they don't understand what I am, what I represent to them. I can take their life in a very elegant way. <laughs> but they pile in like sheep, they do. And they listen to what I say. That was an argument and a misfortune that should have never been bestowed or acted upon. It was foolish and it was reckless. I agree. Even Jack Burton himself failed to listen to me when I gave him warning of great devastation inbound to him. He laughed. Over and over. And then fell. In a gunfight. Was in a coma. If he had just listened to me. Took me seriously. But I understand. I don't know what to do about him. Well, don't waste any more of your days trying to think about it. I won't. I got a new mission in that. Yes, you do. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's chasing goddamn missions across the fucking world. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our thing. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. I know you were busy. Yes, my life is super busy. <laughs> but you're welcome. And like I said, I do appreciate you coming here. And I'm very proud of both of you. Live for me since I... I am incapable of having those delights. I can do that. Maybe I'll and check in on you from request. time to time. <laughs> How will you manifest? I do not My know. My mother is a silver fox. I don't know. <laughs> Probably be an alligator sitting in a shitty swamp. Who oh, knows? I apologize in earnest early if Kelpie stomps on you on accident or That's purpose. Fine. I don't know if that horse is exactly Satan. That's fine. The things we do echo an eternity. Oh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, it's been a pleasure. Au revoir. I will, I will stop jawing at you now. <laughs> Thank you. My utmost pleasure, and I can say that with absolute genuineness. Enjoy. You as well. Bye, Jesse. Bye, Sarah. Be well. May love and light follow you forever. I intend for it to. Pity. Thank <laughs> you.